Welcome to Pregnancy Chat and welcome to week 25 of your pregnancy. I'm Monica Healy. Today I want to talk about what is happening this week with you and baby. Your darling baby is now tipping the scales at 1.5 pounds or just under 700 grams with a length of 9 to 13 inches or 23 to 34 centimeters. Remember that all babies can differ in size at any fetal stage from 11 to 40 weeks, so our measurements are just approximate. So not only is she increasing in size, but her lean little body is beginning to gain some fat. Her wrinkled skin will soon begin to fill out and she looks a little plumper, like this 3D image of a 25 week fetus. Her hair is also making more of an entrance and baby is looking more and more like a newborn baby. Baby will also be sounding like a newborn baby with fully functional vocal cords. Well, that's if she was outside the womb. That's right, she's ready to make her entrance into the world screaming away as any respectable baby would. But for now, inside the womb, baby's receiving stimulation from the outside world and is beginning to develop a sense of self. With newly formed ears, nose, and sense of touch, baby is being bombarded with messages that the brain is interpreting. The taste buds are developed and baby can taste strong flavors in the amniotic fluid. Hearing is the most developed sense at this time and baby has plenty to hear. Mum's heartbeat, baby's own heartbeat, gastric sounds, outside conversations, and music. Baby can hear lower pitched voices that may appear distorted and of course mother's voice as it's transmitted through her body. She won't experience seeing as it's too dark in the womb, but she practices opening and closing her eyes and developing the blinking reflex. Also, if mom was lying on the beach or if the sun was shining down on mom's tummy, it's likely that baby might be able to see this brightness through the wall of the womb. Your baby is also developing more of an equilibrium. It's imperative that he distinguish between up and down because soon he will need to make his way into the head down position for his journey through the birth canal and into your arms. Some babies are more stubborn than others and if for some reason your baby remains breech, usually characterized by a feet first or bum first presentation, it doesn't mean he's lacking a sense of equilibrium. Your baby can now hold her feet and curl her hand into a fist. You can see in this 3D image baby trying to grab her foot. Within baby's gums, permanent teeth are developing. Amazing, isn't it? And we won't see those teeth until your baby is at least six years old. The nerves around the baby's mouth are more sensitive now, preparing baby for the essential task of finding mother's nipple once she's born. I wanted to mention at this time that the umbilical cord is thicker and much more resilient. The cord is encased in a firm jelly called Wharton's jelly that helps prevent kinking and nodding, protecting the delivery of oxygen and nutrients from your placenta to your baby. These are concerns many pa par parents have. Let's talk about how you are doing this week. Are you feeling more like a zombie this week than a mom-to-be? If sleeplessness has not already hit yet, you may soon find you're having trouble sleeping. Fight the insomnia by making yourself as comfortable as possible. Try sleeping on your left side with a pillow between your legs and possibly under your abdomen as well. Some women swear by pregnancy pillows or even a plush body pillow. Also, by tapering off your water intake throughout the day, you may have to make less of those dreaded bathroom trips in the middle of the night. Think of the absent slumber as practice for the arrival of your little one. Along with lack of sleep, your rampant hormones are still generating a wide array of symptoms. To diminish constipation, eat plenty of fiber-rich foods, including whole grains and those much-needed fruits and veggies. Consider adding oat or wheat bran to anything that you can for an added fiber bonus. Gas and bloating are normal as digestion has slowed down quite a bit. Add heartburn into the mix and you've got yourself a threatening threesome. With your practitioner's permission, try out a mild antiacid such as Tums. You'll also get the added benefit of some extra calcium. There are still positives that outweigh the insufferable symptoms. You rapidly develop developing bundle of joy. 
You are on the cusp of the third trimester, probably still enjoying short bursts of energy here and there and almost two thirds of your way done. Take advantage of the extra energy. Be sure to shop or take a break if you're feeling overly tired though, but try not to lie flat on your back. Refrain from contact sports or movements where you could lose your balance and drink, hydrate, knock up, gulp, slurp, or do whatever it takes to ingest as much water as you need. Just remember to slow down later in the day to ward off any trips to the loo during the night. Also work on the fun yet necessary things. Plan baby's nursery, begin to shop for more maternity clothes. Yes, that basketball belly will soon have your outfits bursting at the seams and enjoy the overall experience of the nesting syndrome. Mother's nature's way to help moms prepare. So that's it for week 25. If you have any questions, comments, please join us in the conversation in the forums at Pregnancy Chat. I can't wait to tell you what's happening during week 26. Until then, enjoy this pregnancy journey. These are the precious moments our lives are made of. I'm Monica Healy and thanks for watching.